Good evening. I'm Congressman John Shimkus. I represent Illinois' 19th Congressional District and serve as the Chairman of the Energy and Commerce Subcommittee on Environment and the Economy. Earlier this evening, we listened as President Obama delivered his State of the Union Address. I would like to use this opportunity to explain how the major issues the President addressed tonight impact the lives of my constituents across Central and Southern Illinois. The federal budget deficit, the national debt, and job creation are the most important issues we face, and I welcome the President's commitment to reduce wasteful spending. Working together, we have a great opportunity to go line by line through the federal budget, evaluating and eliminating programs based on their merit or lack thereof, and on our constitutional authority to enact them in the first place. Changing the culture of spending in Washington starts with changing the rules of the game. The new cut go or cut as you go rule implemented at the beginning of this new Congress represents our commitment to this change. As Speaker Boehner said, if it is your intention to create a new government program, you must also terminate or reduce spending on an existing government program of equal or greater size. With this new rule in place, I look forward to working with my colleagues, regardless of party, to offset items in the budget. Families across the country face tough personal spending decisions each day. Congress should also face tough decisions before we spend your money. As we heard earlier tonight, the issue of health care reform is not going away. Last week, real progress was made on this front. The House passage of legislation to repeal last year's health care law gives us the opportunity to openly debate replacement legislation. I will support solutions that actually increase access and affordability without dramatically expanding government control and adding to our debt. This government cannot continue passing legislation that you, the American people, are not comfortable with and that you do not support. The President spoke at length tonight about his plans to create green jobs and a new green economy. While we share the same goal of energy security, our respective plans to make North America more energy independent could not be more different. The President's agenda calls for more regulation and increased costs for all of us who rely on fossil fuels. Just like the bailouts and the stimulus, the President relies on government to pick winners and losers in the energy market. That's why I continue to push for an all-the-above energy policy that expands our use of wind, solar, nuclear, and biofuel energy alternatives, while boosting production of domestic coal, oil, and natural gas. We should utilize all of our resources, leaving nothing off the table. No is not an energy policy. Increasing refinery capacity should be a no-brainer in lowering what you pay at the pump. This is simple supply and demand economics. That's why I'm a supporter of the Keystone XL pipeline. This pipeline will carry more crude oil from Canada to their refining markets in the Metro East. Last month, I and a coalition of my colleagues sent a letter to Secretary Hillary Clinton supporting the approval of a cross-border permit for the pipeline. In a time when we need them the most, the Keystone XL pipeline is expected to create 13,000 high-wage American construction jobs and generate millions in tax revenue for state and local governments. Long term, this pipeline will create thousands of auxiliary jobs improving American energy sector and reducing our dependence on oil from South America and the Middle East. We in the Republican Party stand ready to work together with the President, his administration, and our Democratic colleagues. As we debate issues at the heart of the direction of our country, our Constitution, and our individual liberty, we will continue to speak passionately and forcefully. We must find a way to work together without compromising our bedrock beliefs. Thank you for listening. Good night, and may God bless you, and may he continue to bless the United States of America.